Hello from Thin Castle Farm. Today Henry is doing our videoing. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today was our scalder and our plucker. It's a lot of things we haven't talked about in the past. Obviously they're in storage right now. Um, but a scalder in a chicken operation like ours, a bigger chicken operation, um, you couldn't do this without a scalder. The purpose of this scalder is uh, we put in the birds, uh, four birds at a time, at 100, exactly 148 degrees, uh, the water is, and we dunk them a certain amount of times when the feather plucks out very easily. We then transfer those four birds into this plucker. And four birds will tumble in this for, I don't, I don't know, just, you just get to know these things, maybe 30 seconds, I don't know. Um, and when they're done, they should have pretty much no feathers on them. Uh, maybe a couple you have to hand pick, but this is a really nice operation. And one of the things we added um, to the operations the first year was this piece of equipment. It's called a roto dunker. It goes within the scalder and allows you not to stand over the scalder and go up and down with the chickens manually. You put the chickens in these cages. It has a motor and they swirl around in the water. One, one basket goes down, one comes up. One goes down, one comes up. Because you don't want to actually cook the bird, you're just getting the feathers wet and getting them hot, the feathers hot. Um, we did not have luck with this piece of equipment. Um, the water wasn't getting under the wings, so once we put it in the plucker, we were having to hand pick a lot of feathers. So. I've actually gone out um, yesterday on the pasture poultry forum and asked some questions about how I can get this piece of equipment to work better for us. Because one thing I'm doing this winter is trying to figure out how we can be more efficient so that we can raise more birds. I feel like if we can get more efficient in our processing, uh, perhaps I can raise more birds. I can raise the birds, it's the processing that's holding us back. So anyway, I'll let you know what I find out um, some people say, hey, I don't have any problems with it, but uh, I'll let you know. Uh, hopefully we can put it back into uh, action this, this year because if I can get this back into action, I just have one person that's timing it. Um, you know, it's a certain number of turns the bird needs to go through the water, but that's all. It's really not manual process. So anyway, that's what's going on this winter. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about our equipment, and uh, we'll see you soon.